Today's video is sponsored by Minimal Case. All right guys, so I just got my brand new Pixel 4a and the first thing that I did was slap a Minimal Case on it. And the reason I like Minimal Cases is they don't add bulk and they don't actually take away from the design of the phone. In fact, I'm using the frosted black case on here and it doesn't even look like I have a case on it at all. And what it's doing is it's adding protection against scratches, light drops, and it even protects the glass camera bump on the back of the phone. And they also come in other neutral colors like frosted white, matte black, and I even had the clear case on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you're like me and you just don't like bulky cases but you want to keep your device looking new, minimal cases are the way to go. Now if you are interested in checking out minimal case, I will have a link in the description. If you use the code GAMESKI, you can even save 25% off. And again, I'd like to thank minimal case for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, so today we're gonna check out the Tozo NC9. Now this is a pair of active noise canceling true wireless earbuds that retail for $60. And in fact, right now on Amazon, they have a 20% off coupon. So you can pick these up for 48 bucks. Now this is a pair a lot of you guys have recommended for quite a while, but I kept just kind of putting it off because there's nothing that actually stood out as far as the design or anything that made them unique. But I can definitely say since trying them out, I'm kicking myself that I didn't try these earlier. They are so damn impressive. And for the price tag, they are almost impossible to beat. But let's go ahead and check out some of the features and what it is you get inside the box. Now the first thing that I want to point out with these because I'm somebody that listens to a lot of different genres of music is the NC9 actually handled them all with no problem. And the noise canceling that they have is a hybrid noise canceling which basically means they're using a mic on the outside. They're also using a microphone that's almost near the ear tip on the inside and then they're relying on the passive noise cancellation that the ear tips are doing on their own. And I can tell you between the three it's doing a pretty decent job. Other features are they have Bluetooth 5.0 and although I would have liked to have seen them have aptX playback, they do have AAC and SBC. Now one thing I did notice by looking at the box and checking out the website is there's no mention of any IP rating. So I would definitely not submerge these into water, but I had no issue when it came to light splashes or having a little bit of sweat hit him. But still, without an official IP rating, it's going to be something you need to be a little careful with. Now as far as what you're getting inside the box, I was surprised that these came with six sets of ear tips. So if you're somebody that has a little bit of an issue finding the right fit, I don't think you'll have that problem when it comes to these. And as far as the charging cable, they've included a USB-C cable. Speaking of the charging cable, battery life is also very decent on these. The battery life on the earbuds themselves is around eight hours, where with the charging case, you're gonna get around 24 hours total. So with a pair that has noise canceling, being able to squeeze out that much battery life is gonna make a lot of people happy. Now, as far as the charging case on these, uh, the charging case is pretty generic looking. It does feel very solid. You see that the USB-C input is on the back, and then you have four indicator lights on the front so that you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now, the first thing when I opened the lid to these is I noticed that it had a nice, large, flat surface on the earbuds, and the reason that's important is these use touch controls. So having that large surface means it's pretty much gonna register your touch every time, and you're not gonna have to kind of feel around to see where that area is located. Speaking of the controls, I'm happy to say that the controls control everything. So you have your play, pause, skipping your tracks forward, going backwards, and it even allows you to switch between the ANC on mode and the transparency mode on the left earbud just by a single tap. Now the ambient mode on here is very nice. It does a really good job of picking up the sounds around you. And it also allows you to carry on conversations without actually taking the earbuds out. Now when it comes to the noise canceling, although I feel like they do a pretty decent job and you definitely have to kind of pull back your expectations with noise canceling given the price, um, it definitely doesn't compete with the Sony or the Sennheisers when it comes to noise canceling, but it's still going to block out a good amount of low engine noises, low rumble type noises, but higher pitch sounds still seem to kind of come through and it's not really blocking that out. Now, as far as you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then I feel like the microphones on here are doing a pretty decent job when it comes to phone calls. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. 
So here is a mic test using the NC9. I think it does a pretty decent job of picking up my voice, although I do notice it has a little bit of a warmer tone to it. But this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. The sound on these are incredible. In fact, I'm going to say this, this is a pretty bold statement. These are very comparable to the Sennheiser Momentum earbuds, which are $300. So these you can pick up for $50 and the Sennheisers are around $300 and the sound is very comparable. In fact, one of the differences are that the Tozos actually have more bass than the Sennheisers. So when it comes to bass, there's a lot of punch, there's a lot of rumble, and at times it can even feel like you have that subwoofer type feel, but it's not destroying your mids and highs. Mids still came through very nicely. I felt like everything came through clear. There's a lot of details when it comes to vocals. And the treble had a nice clean tone to it, but it stayed away from sounding bright. Um, it really did focus on having a natural sound to it, which I just felt blended really well with the mids and the lows. And overall, it's just a very pleasing earbud to listen to. Now when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, again this is another area I feel like these excel in. It had a very open feel to it, so it kind of almost felt like you were in a concert hall, where most earbuds at best can feel like a large room. I felt like these were slightly more open, and then being able to tell where everything was coming from was no problem when it came to these. So overall, I was very impressed with the sound characteristics of these earbuds. Now when it comes to the cons, I really only have two and they're actually kind of minor. I really would have liked to have seen the case just be a Qi wireless charging case. And that's simply because this is a pair that I could see me using a lot and it just becomes very convenient to come in and drop your case on a wireless charging case. And then the only other complaint I have is that there's no official IP rating. And that's more just to feel a little bit safer about using your earbuds and not having to worry about water. But outside of that, they're a hell of a deal at under $50. They're still a steal at $60, and I have no hesitation when it comes to recommending these. If you're somebody that just listens to a lot of different genres, these handle each one very well. It's tons of detail with nice punchy low end, and it's just an excellent sound overall. But guys, that's my video on the Tozo NC9. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.